Good morning. Welcome to Nitri Prediction. My name is Narendra. To join my WhatsApp group, I'm charging 500 rupees per a month. Uh, 50% reduced uh, in my premium, so you can be able to enjoy the advanced prediction as well as calls from the group. And if you like my video and you can, you know, if you like to donate my uh, my channel, you can uh, go through this uh, GPN, phone pay and uh, I have ATM numbers and you can donate uh, using those numbers and let's go to the prediction for Monday and today is the budget day uh, before going to that I would like to uh, review the uh, Friday prediction as well as how it has went some hint uh, uh, given if you join my uh, uh, group means you will get those kind of hints and you will make some good money and the market has ended up in the negative 182.95 around 13,634.60 it has closed around 1.32 percent negative it has closed and the open around 13,946.60 and the high went around nine sorry 13,966.85 and the low around 13,596 so how we could have trade on this specific uh, friday many people would not uh, get this point i would like to uh, go back to the thursday's market because uh, then only you can able to understand how we are trading this is actually uh, for uh, uh, monday so uh, i'll come back to monday market little later uh, i would like to go for uh, the thursday market then only you can able to understand why we got the uh, friday target so on thursday you can go and check my past video and uh, you could have uh, uh, get this target because of this is the level which got opened on thursday 13,616.22. if you go and check the uh, uh nifty on uh thursday how it has closed it uh it would have broken this stop loss so normally we keep the stop loss of 10 points if you go my ch uh, uh, youtube channel and uh, check the basic video we use for buying level minus 10 points as a stop loss and selling level plus 10 points as a stop loss so if you take this level 13,008 not two it will get as a stop loss for this particular thursday we know that this stop loss got hit so automatically what happens is the next level will get open so 13,616 got opened on thursday itself anybody would have joined in my group they would have known this level so what happens is anything level which got open on a particular day the rule is it will get hit on the same day or the next day why because in fndo closing day this is the thursday data i'm talking about on fndo closing day sometimes around 20 percent of the times the target might fail due to the artificial buying and due to the fndo closing purpose so if that particular day is not able to hit on the next day 90 percent of the time on the next day it will get hit so 13,616 the target which got open got it on friday exactly that is what happened and it got it and the low 13,595 you go and check my channel and you go and check my um youtube on that particular day i have given and you can go and check the results because the basic rule also i have given on this particular 28th day also i have clearly given the levels so if you go and check those days you will you will get those results i'll show you the same level which got see 13,812 so it, it has hidden I think the next average level which got hidden yes it got hidden in it the average nothing but it is if uh, it is there it is there I thought it was hidden 
so it is there 13000 uh, 616 it is there it is not sometimes if if this this particular column got hidden um, means you need to check the average nothing but this average only i am put it here so you can check the average as well so that got open and exactly that is what got hit on that particular day so anybody would have known this they would have get more profit let's go to the prediction for monday how it is going to be and we got one more uh, level is got opened on uh, friday as well on the higher side you can check <coughs> the high on friday which is 13,966.85 which the high is also not matching and we got a one particular target opened so it might have uh, got it on monday today so check out this 13,972 and 13,941 so in between only the high is there 13,966 which is not matching so which means the target of 13,972.31 is right now open so due to the um, budget this target might have chances to it because it uh, it has to hit on the same day or if it is not hitting it will hit on the next day so we have a good chance to hit this particular uh, target um, so what we have to know do is on the budget day anything is possible it might go bearish it might go bullish so how we need to trade because you must have to keep at least one particular lot call option in hand on the minimum size at least 10 rupees call option you must have to keep at the same time you must have to keep on the put option as well so that is the idea because this particular target is opened so it might have the chances to it but it is a budget day so what happens is this swing will be there so it will go on the negative as well at the same time it will go on the positive side as well at present we got a target which is on the positive direction which is huge target 13,972 which which means almost 300 points from the present level you can check out the market is at 13,634 which means almost 340 points on the positive side we have a target so we need to play much more cautiously and uh, let's go to the prediction for monday so how we need to trade it is a fresh day of the month february so it is clearly indicating uh, ratio on the positive side 11 is to 8 averages on the negative side 0 is to 2 Ratios on the positive side 3.19 versus 1.99 and absolute frequency evenly points because of the fresh day of the month february so it is evenly paused we know the rule if it is fresh day of it means bullish market and bearish market and flat finish all three results are possible even percentages 33.33 percent chances to so what we need to trade you must have to keep both options in and small traders you must have to avoid trading on this specific day because if you don't have the money to buy both sides better stay away from the market it is not going to be that much easier otherwise if you taking risk on both side 10 10 rupees as i always tell buy 10 rupees on each side two lots for the call option put option exit one lot at 20 so you reduce your 50 percent of the size of risk so minimum 50 percent <coughs> which is going to be <clears throat> 1500 so this 1500 is only in the risk any side uh, one lot goes to 20 you, you are going to exit the remaining one lot if it is goes to more than 20 30 40 50 60 how much risk you want to take according to that book the profit so remaining side which is not favoring for your particular that side you exit with the loss how much for example if it is goes from 10 to 4 5 3 somewhere exit both lots after exiting for example you are exiting in the call option 
one particular lot at 20 remaining one lot if it is goes to 50 you exiting both around uh, 70 and the remaining put option for 3 which is gives you 6 rupees in total you are getting 76 but you invested only 40 so that is the idea <clears throat> even if it is not works you are going to exit 20 anyhow one particular lot remaining 1500 is the risk but still you can exit at 3315 at what price on the remaining three lots so you can reduce your risk from 1500 to some level so this is the idea so i'll give you a clear picture with the numbers how you can do it because uh, it it always works for me so see call option by 10 lots sorry 10 rupees at two lots so exit one lot at 20 remaining keep it remaining one lot keep it so it might go any level so i like the same p by 10 rupees at two lots this is also exit one lot at 20 and remaining one lot will go any level so either way it, it will work so what happens is if 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 you are exiting one lot you are you are any size because the market will go bullish or bearish so any anyhow one side will go from 10 to 20 so you are going to exit one lot means your total lots of 20 and 20 become 40 will reduce to 20 so your risk size is 20 that is the method i'm telling so remaining one lot which it goes to more than 30 40 50 60 up to your decision to take risk according to that you can exit with the profit so it reduces your tension it reduces your way of handling the options in the market live market so it, which gives you a freedom to trade in this kind of method let's see how the market is going to be on monday it is clearly volatile market because uh, the data is showing negative on the average remaining two data showing positive so positive has a little apparent but still absolute frequency evenly positive which means it might have chances to end up in the negative too but the basic rule we need to apply if it is not going to be in because it is a budget day so definitely it is going to be a volatile market so up to how long it will go the positive average which shows 0 0.89 percent negative negative average shows 1.52 percent but whereas the average on the both side which shows 4.79 and 2.99 so up to that level it has a chance to go volatile on budget day so uh, it, it, it has a good chance to move both sides swings anything breaks apart from those average level it will go further bullish or further bullish this is a one side but if it is a bullish market it it might not break the overall average or the resistance level one average so if the overall average is not breaking for example i'm telling you the market is opens in the positive somewhere uh, above the volatile level one around more than 53 points and not breaking the overall average stop loss which is 13603.47 then it is a extreme bullish market so it might go any extreme so this is the stop loss for the extreme bullish market on the other end if the market is opens in the flat positive it might be one point and not breaking the resistance level one stop loss uh one minute i done a mistake because i took the level of 13613 it is not I, we need to take this level because it is average level this is the stop loss for the extreme bullish market please correct it 13598 point 6.9 is the extreme bullish market because this this is the level overall average so 
six nine is the stop loss for extreme bullish market, and then the next normal bullish market is thirteen thousand five twenty nine point one. So this is the normal bullish market. If these two levels are not able to break the market, having chances to recover and go towards to positive. On the other end, the market is opens below the volatile level, which is indicating negative bearish market, and thirteen thousand six eighteen point six nine is the extreme bearish market stop loss. It will go to any extent on the downside. A normal bearish market is resistant level one, thirteen thousand six fifty two. Point seven eight is the normal, normal bearish market. So these are all the stop loss for the bearish and extreme bearish, normal bearish and extreme bearish. So what is the other way of trading? If the market is not able to break after reaching positive average or the negative average, the market will having chances to. Fall down from that level or recover from this level, but as we know, it is a budget day, so we need to take consideration on the higher side as well. So, in between these levels, in between these levels, any level which making the perfect high, for example, the difference of three points inside the three points, points, okay. So inside the three points, for example, I'll, I'll I am taking the level which we have the target of nineteen thousand nine fifty and above. So if if I take the resistance level one fourteen thousand six uh, sorry fourteen thousand sixty nine fourteen thousand Six nine point five four. The market is reaching exactly towards to that level, around less than three points. So, which means fourteen thousand six sixty seven. So I'll take this. This is the high on this particular day, right? The market having chances to fall from that level towards to the lower side. And likewise, the same from the negative side. We don't have a target only. We have a target in the positive side and direction. But we know it is a volatile day because of budget as well. So it might have see a volatile. So that is the reason one must keep both options in hand on this particular day. So uh, it might go any action on the downside after the bearish these levels. Any level if it is matching inside three points, the market having chances to recover. What is breaking the average level? It will go for the downside. Let's see how the market is going to give us on a Monday. Thank you.